Hi, this is Debbie from Project 39 Mini Albums, and welcome to the mini album tutorial. There already was a tutorial on how to make the cover and the base pages and the binding system, so if you need to refer to that, go ahead and look in the description box for the link to that. This is page style one. The premise of this series is each page style you can mix and match. You can make a book of an entirely the same page style or you can mix and match the page styles. So I'm going to show you what this page style looks like first and then I'll get on with the tutorial. Okay, so here's page style number one. It's got a front flap. Now this one I just uh, added a little pocket to. It's got a back flap. Now underneath where it says Barbecue King, so that opens up. You see there's a pocket below, and then that flap opens to the bottom. So there's a lot of room for photos. You could easily fit six photos on the pages, two in the pockets, and then also don't forget there's the hidden photo mat inside the pocket page, and you could fit several photos there. And then on the back, the back of it, there is a small side pocket. I wanted to show you what that page style looked like without any uh, scrap of paper on it. So you're going to have the front flap, so it's a little bit smaller than the whole page, so you, so you see it, so you know that there's a flap there. Then you'll have the flap that adheres to the right hand side. Now these flaps have a little bit of room to it so you can add things to it. So it's you can put some dimension here. So you have those two flaps. Then you have this one. So this should be six and a half by four and a half. So you can add scrapbook paper and a photo on top of it. Then this will come down. And you can use a magnet to adhere it, you can use a swing tip, or you don't need anything on it. So anyhow, that'll come down, so room for a photo there, and room for a photo there as well. And then this also will come up, and there's a pocket here, and there is a photo mat, um, a little booklet that you could put four photos in. So it closes like this, and again, you could have a magnet here if you wanted to. There's the hidden pocket, uh, the photo mat in the hidden pocket page. And on the back, there's a small side pocket with another little booklet. So that's what we're going to be making. All right, for this page style, you need an eight and a quarter by eight piece of paper, an eight and three quarters by eight, and 11 by six and a half. I used 110 pound card stock for all of it. So take the 8 and 3 quarters by 8 and go ahead and score at half an inch and also score at 7 eighths of an inch. You're going to trim the corner up to a half an inch when you are done. And then with the 8 and a quarter by 8, the 8 and a quarter inch at the top, score at half an inch. and three quarters again. Up to the half inch line. So if you want to just put your scissors right where that fold is, or you can do it going from the other direction. Trim both of those flaps. All right, on the 11, by six and a half piece of paper, score at half an inch, and score at six and a half, not at seven. Okay, now go ahead and trim the corner of that. And let's move on. Go ahead and move the scoreboard, clean up your area, and grab your score tape and you're going to flip it over so you know there's a mountain and a valley of where you scored. You're going to put the score tape on the side of the mountain of the uh, 
larger piece of paper, the 11 inch one. And on the flaps as well. Okay, all right, so you're going to take the two flaps and adhere them to the base page. The one that's got the half inch and seven eighths of an inch score is gonna go on the right side the one that's got the half inch and three quarters inch score will go on the left side. So take the first one to go on to the right side, line it up as close to the edge as possible, and go ahead and adhere it. It's important to get it as straight as you can to make sure that when you close the page, it's going to line up with the base page. And then you're going to take the one for the left side, the one that you scored at a half and three quarters, and put on the base page close to the spine of the album. But just put it on the base page. Don't go over uh, any further and put it on the binding system. And again, make sure you line it up real well with the top and bottom of the base page. And use your bone folder to burnish if you feel like it needs to be adhered a little bit better. And now that that's done, we're going to take that uh, 11 inch by 6.5 inch piece, remove the score tape, and do your best to center it on the top and adhere it to the base page on the top. Now I use 65 pound cardstock. Cut it by 8 and 7 eighths by 6.5 score it half an inch, rotate it, score it half an inch, and rotate it one more time and score again at half an inch. Grab your scissors and trim the corners. This will help it lie flat when you adhere it to the page. So this is an easy pocket. Then you can either use score tape or a good strong adhesive. Since this is a lighter pound cardstock, I don't feel like I need to use the score tape. But uh, so I'll burnish and then add the glue to the three sides and line it up as best you can and adhere it to the page. All right, so we're gonna finish this with a couple of the inserts that you need. So first thing we'll do is you'll need two pieces of paper, eight and a half by six and a quarter. This I use a 65 pound cardstock. Score at four and a quarter for both of them. So what you have now is you'll have, um, this is good for a four by six photo. You could make it larger or smaller, it depends on what you have, but now you can get four photos to put in the pockets. So um, really you can make this whatever size you want. Depends on the photos or whatever memorabilia you have. All right, let's put that aside for now. Then cut another piece of cardstock, the 65 pound weight, nine by three. And I want you to score this on three sides at half an inch. One, the long side and the short sides twice. Go ahead and trim the corners. And um, fold in at the score line, burnish. And then you'll cut another piece of cardstock eight by seven and three quarters. You can use the 110 pound cardstock for this. Um, you do not have to. You could use the 65 pound because usually you're going to put cardstock or um, design paper on either side. But I would grab a corner rounder and round the corners on this. This is going to be the hidden pocket. 
um, or the hidden photo mat to go in the pocket. So you've got this hidden pocket here and the photo mat will go in there. That's why I like to round the corners. It, it just comes out nice when you do it. Um, and you also, instead of cutting it this big, you cut a little smaller and use a tab punch or something like that. Um, but I like to use the 110 pound cardstock because it's just sturdier to go in and out. Depends on how much room you have on the album. If it's getting a little tight, I'd use the lighter. And then the um, pockets or the the eight and a half by six and a quarter that you folded will go in here. So you can use whatever you want. And then go ahead and grab the um, nine by three that you've scored on three sides. Add. You could use score tape or you could use your uh, glitter glue or whatever adhesive. And this is going to go on the back flap. You can put that here. You could put it on the bottom of the page or you could put it over on this side. Um, I like to put it on this side so when you're grabbing something you're coming from the outside of the book rather than the inside. I don't know. Just person, personal preference. And you're just going to adhere that right there on the back and that's where your second uh, photo mat, the eight and a half by six and a quarter is going to go. All right, well, thank you for watching and doing page style one with me. Look for page style two's tutorial coming up soon. Don't forget to double click on the bell so you're notified when the tutorials are available for you to do. Once again, thanks for watching. <laughs>